is the video we've all been waiting for. Well, you might not have been waiting for it, but I've been waiting for it. We're reading Fourth Wing. We're reading Fourth Wing. I'm excited. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know what to expect. I, I'm going into this pretty blind. But this, I said it in a different video, this is currently averaging a 4.66 on Goodreads. That's insane. Even the most popular booktok books ever aren't averaging that. The only thing I know about this is it's got dragons in it. It's about a girl coming into a school and there are trials. I'm very excited. We're, we're just, we're gonna read this in today's video. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you my thoughts. We're gonna go along on the journey together. I pray this lives up to the hype. I will say, I normally try not to go into um, books with expectations. I'll be honest, that's out the window. I have the highest expectations. <laughs> um, which, is that dangerous? Maybe, because I am going in with, I'm, we're up here. We're expecting a lot. Rebecca Yaros, I've never read a book by you, but I've, I've got high expectations. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, like, I really, really want this to live up to the hype. I really do. So, without further ado, I guess let's find out if it does. Let's read Fourth Wing. All right, jump scare because I've got no makeup on. But I have started Fourth Wing. I have got to page uh, 55. So I'm on chapter, I've read four chapters. Um, Firstly, I read I read the first chapter. I audibly gasped at the end of the first chapter. Already had me in my feels. Um, yeah, this gets straight into the story, which is so fun. Uh, there's there's a lot of like I don't want to say world building because there is a lot of plot going on, but there's a lot of also like new language and stuff like. I, I don't know, I, I don't know if it's just because I don't read a lot of fantasy and I don't know the stuff or if a lot of the words are made up. So, so far our main character Violet has been put into this, I guess, big sort of test that she has to do to become a rider. Um, and most people have trained their entire lives to become riders, dragon riders. But she's always thought she was going to go into a different section of the school. But her mum, who is a general, has quite last minute said no I want you to be a rider you have to be a rider so she's got a lot less training than everybody else and also because her mum is a general um and she's I think basically killed a lot of people so a, a lot of people really don't like the family so a lot of people hate her so now they're going into these trials basically against each other and one of the things is basically that you can kill each other I think um, so a lot of people have basically been like, we're coming after you. As I said, the language is quite complicated, but it's also the story is so fast moving that you're not, it doesn't feel like work to like get into the story at all. Cause you're literally like thrown into like, there are dragons and, and there's, people have already died. And it's like, like th there is so much going on and I'm only on page 50. Um, and I'm really excited and so far I see what the hype is about but yeah I'm excited to keep reading it. I'm on page 93. Um, I think there's a love triangle coming. Could be wrong, could be wrong but it, I feel it. So I said before that they were going into like a bunch of trials. That's sort of right, sort of not. So basically they basically sort of did one trial and now it's almost like I think they're preparing for like three years of trials but they're not necessarily I thought it was more like a hunger game sort of thing where it was like you do all the trials in one big thing but it's not quite like that it's like three years of constant testing and assessing um but you also can still be killed at any point there's a character called Jack who has just sort of been casually murdering people he doesn't like I really like the character development of Zayden. I won't say too much on it, but they've made him very three-dimensional. He has redeeming qualities. Um, he's an interesting character. But yeah, I don't know if I have too much more to say at this point. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say, so I'm gonna keep reading.
so crazy. I last night got to page, bear with, 178, um, which basically was the threshing, which is this big event that they've been building up to. The pace of this book moves quite quickly, so I think they're several months into the like training now, uh, which is very cool by the way, because I feel like any other fantasy book, everything that's happened so far up to this point literally could have been one book. But this just keeps it moving. And it's great and it doesn't feel rushed. It just feels like there's constantly new stuff happening, which is wonderful. But yeah, so got to page 178, got to the threshing. And this like event has been kind of coming for a while. This is basically the event where they, the characters try and get a dragon. And they either get, like they match one or they don't. And I've had lots of theories up until now on what's gonna happen. Because, you know, I kind of suspect the event wouldn't go, like, exactly as planned or whatever. But I've had lots of theories. I didn't see that coming! I am so excited to see the characters' reactions to what's just happened. I cannot wait for Violet to come back and for each, like, Zayden's reaction, Dane's reaction, the professor's reaction, her friend's reactions. Like, I, I need the reactions. Didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. I'm gonna keep reading. I am up to page 271 of Fourthling. Um, I've just taken the dust jacket off because I've been carrying this book around with me religiously and I didn't want to ruin the beautiful cover. But, oh, it's getting good. It was already good, but it's getting so good. So much has happened. You're getting a lot more of the dragons. I don't know how to pronounce any of their names, but I love them. They're so cool. I I don't know why. I kind of was a bit apprehensive going in because I knew that the dragons spoke and they spoke to them. And I don't know why there's no logic behind this, but I just thought I wouldn't like that for some reason. I love it. I love it. All the dragons are so like well-developed. Each of them have their own personality. They're not just like big mythical creatures who all have one personality and one goal like they're all so different and there's a few that you get like a lot more in depth of and I love them you're definitely I think we're building up slowly a sort of romance really nicely interwoven so that it's like it's there and it's supporting but it's not the whole story um which I personally really really like I'm just so obsessed with this for me I know a book's good when I don't want it to finish and I do not want this to finish I'm probably what like 60% maybe not 60 maybe like 55% of the way through the book and I'm like I'm like savoring it I'm like trying to read it slowly which is a good sign let's just say I understand the hype I get it I've got another like 230 ish pages to go so we've still got a good chunk to go also the politics of this book is really really interesting because there's lots to do with like the traitors um and obviously her mother had all the traitors' parents executed. Um, and there's lots of like very interesting dynamics that that's created, but also those run a lot deeper as well. And we're really getting into like the politics side of it now as well, which is really fun. And they have a class called Battle Brief, which basically they go through all of like the different battles and like what's going on outside of the world. And because you don't really see any anything of the world, which I guess kind of mirrors what the characters are going through because they're very isolated. They don't have much, well, they don't really have any connection with the outside world. They're not allowed to talk to anyone. So the battle brief is like where they get all their information. So it's interesting for us as well because it's the first time we really see anything about the outside world. There's a lot going on, but it's not too much. I've only read three or four fantasy books and sometimes I find them very overwhelming, and very difficult to follow. And I'm not finding this at all. Maybe I did in like the first 40 pages. Not even difficult to follow, I think I just didn't know what any of the words meant and I couldn't, my dyslexic brain couldn't read any of the names. But now it's so easy to follow. I'm gonna stop talking now because I've been talking for bloody ages and I'm definitely gonna have to edit most of this out, but I am enjoying. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I finished! Oh. I'm really sad that I finished the book! This is gonna be controversial, but um, this is pretty good. 
this is this is fantastic the oh my gosh okay I, sorry I just collect myself I finished last night and I was gonna film but my brain wasn't functioning as a as a human being so I was like let's just leave it tomorrow I'll be collected I'm not collected what the ending well the last I don't know what like a hundred pages maybe was just like plot twists all over the place but perfectly constructed plot twists like my favorite kind of plot twists where the clues were there but they were subtle so you didn't pick up on them you know what I mean those to me those are the best plot twists the plot twists that come out of nowhere and I'm like I didn't even like where have you got that from it's like eh, yeah, yeah the ones where it's like they've drip fed it and it's like it's kind of in there but it's in there like the writing has so carefully disguised it that you don't pick up on it that those to me are just the best ones and this was this and the last 100 pages was like a roller coaster of emotions the final page I know everyone was talking about it and I kind of forgot that there was this big plot just coming on the final page and I'm really happy I forgot because otherwise I'm the kind of person who will just try and be guessing it the entire time so I'm kind of glad I didn't do that uh but I also don't think I would have guessed it anyway because I wasn't my brain wasn't even going there and I cannot wait for the second book I've pre-ordered it never do that I never pre-order I've pre-ordered it it's called Iron Flame I believe it's coming out November 7th I cannot wait for the second one I read somewhere that I think this is meant to be like a five or a six book series like she's already plotted out all of the books so i'm excited because so much happened in this like all i said it earlier in the video but the author is so generous like she could have this could have been two books and i'm so glad it wasn't because the pacing was so perfect like throughout nothing felt like too fast but nothing felt like we were lingering on it for too long like to me it was just perfect the romance was so cute i loved it I just loved everything about this. <laughs> I, I wish I had notes, but I have no notes. I have no notes, it's great. I want the next one. Why is the next one not coming out for so long? I also don't know what I'm meant to read now. Cause it's like, I finished following, what do I read now? Do I just restart it? No, I'm not gonna do that. But I just don't really know what to do with myself now. Well, I guess I'm gonna wrap the video up and then I'm just gonna go sit in a corner and and reevaluate. This is great. I, I recommend this book if you haven't already read it. Thank you very much for being here. Please do subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to see more. Leave a like, all of that fun stuff. Do appreciate you and have a lovely day.